John. So last night, this huge news just dropped from Lucasfilm. They just announced this statement like that. Gina Carano from the Mandalorian show. They just fired her and they released this statement. We will be seeing that in a second. Uh, before I get to this news, I did see. Oh my God. At least 300 people are tweeting about this. It's trending on Twitter like crazy. People have mixed feeling about it. Uh, some people like agree with the decision. Some are disagree. Overall, like the feeling I'm getting from everyone is mixed. Uh, personally, I thought when I saw her tweet back then, uh, it was headlines back then, when she tweeted all those tweets, I knew Disney gonna fire her. Uh, it, it's just common sense. I know some people will blame Disney, but same time when you are a company like Disney, it's not shocking, honestly. Uh, Disney did fire uh, James Gunn like years ago or so because of his tweet years ago he did on 10 years ago, all his tweets. His tweets were very like untasteful for my taste. Uh, so for his tweet, he got fired, then he got rehired. Uh, he, it's not, a sh I'm not sure how many projects he's working with Disney now. So now Gina Carano, she got fired for her tweet. Uh, regardless, whatever she tweet, I don't want to get to that. that those are political view. Uh, but I always knew she's gonna get fired uh, because of the nature of her tweet. Uh, also like Disney, company like Disney, they cannot allow people to be tweeting like this. Of course, they sometimes do show double standard, you know what I mean? Uh, honestly, I recently thought they're gonna fire Chris Pratt because uh, uh, not two months ago, I'm a huge fan of Chris Pratt, by the way, uh, but I thought they're gonna fire him because did he also done something or something? His political view always are clashing, isn't it? Uh, we are all human. <laughs> we have our personal opinion. Uh, but when you are working for Disney, you have to be careful not to give your personal opinion on Twitter like this. You will get fired. That's just a fact, honestly. Uh, especially the whole industry is owned by Disney or like uh, this is basically two player game here either Disney or Warner Brothers so I will be covering another news is Pedro Pascal he just got hired by HBO Max uh, I'll be get to that news in a second let's read what Disney said about Gina Carano I did see people are like some people are really mad personally I'm not mad uh, but the way they handle this situation, I thought it's really good because like they just wrapped up Mandalorian season two. Now they just released this information for people to find out. People, these people who's freaking out right now, a lot of people are. It's three hundred thousand uh, tweet. That is a lot. A lot of people are. Those people will cool down the, by the time Mandalorian season three return. I, it will be interesting who will replace her in this show. But I don't know. For now, let's check it out. What they say. The Mandalorian star will not be... That's Lucasfilm they dropped. The Mandalorian star will not be returning to the series after the Lucasfilm released this statement saying Carano is currently not employed by the company and there are no plans for her to be in the future. If this comes after, uh, you know. And then uh, Disney said lucasfilm called carano's post abhorrent i don't know what does that mean abhorrent and unacceptable the actor the actor also has been dropped as a client by her talent agency uta wow so she's basically done her career i don't know where it, they, it will go from here uh as i was saying uh although all your political view well, you know, it's Twitter these days. People are just go out there, put themselves out there. But you have to think about your employer, uh, especially when you work for a giant company like Disney. Because I once I was an employee for a big company, so I know like when you are working there, you have to protect their name. So I understand from their point of view. Of course, people will call. I did see everyone is calling Disney uh, this evil empire. In another news, Pedro Pascal will be star as a Joel in Last of Us video game adaptation for HBO Max alongside of Bella Ramsey. Uh, she will be also starring in this show and recently when uh, like she he just got hired obviously Pedro Pascal had a huge year last year he was in Wonder Woman 1984 The Mandalorian also he was in huge hit in the Netflix movie 
we are the heroes so he had really huge ear, ear last year so i'm not surprised by this news uh, probably he is the hardest thing everybody want to hire her and here he is <laughs> working for one or other once again uh, especially he was in game of Thrones, and he was he did work with the uh, liana mormon in that mo uh, show of course like the, they are once again this uh, star this two star is back makes me very exciting also it's a hbo project of course you are excited probably he signed on to this project because of he probably want to win an Emmy, you know. He did not get nomination from a Mandalorian show. Then did not give her give him a nomination. So which is like he's probably like whoa, this show he star and he he's the center of that show. Nobody talks about him. Everybody talks about Baby Yoda, of course. He want to get the recognition he deserves. So he is now gonna be working for HBO Max. Is that means he left Mandalorian? Uh, if he leaves Mandalorian, personally, I will be really sad. Uh, but I don't think so, because like I don't think Disney will let him go. He's the huge like artist cake right now. Why would they let him go? That does not make any sense. Of course, I might be wrong uh, because I did hear all this drama behind the scene he was having with Disney, uh, especially with the curator. I was hearing. I did see his interview about this uh, topic, and I did see uh, Pedro Pascal. He was clearing up all this rumor. He said i didn't mind uh that i was wearing helmet and like uh like and people didn't see my face it did seem like he was a little frustrated though after all he is a human you cannot just say he isn't upset i do i do think he was upset same time uh because all this rumor i think he backed up from this thing uh i also he did take off his helmet two time uh somehow they made it happen for him i think uh, in season two i don't know if he is gone from season three person i can't wait for season three but i still i feel like this news is coming out uh you do have to wonder what is happening next especially these two huge ne uh, news came up in the same day something is fishy going on <laughs> still i understand what is happening you know this is show business uh, that's how it go and you do have to get your next work lined up for future that was my thought on this topic so definitely very interesting uh uh you just have to wait and see how people feel about them <laughs> who knows disney might rehire gina carano like they did for james gunn <laughs> that was my thought thanks so much for checking that out if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and take care